This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on you. 445. It's been a really powerful week for us. Been all over the news cycle. Let me talking about us, Heather B. Sway and Morning Show, number one show on the planet, most effective, impactful, reaching show on the planet. And the hook is we can't even argue with that. It's hard to. It's hard. <laughs> we don't need a whole lot. We didn't. We didn't play to the industry. We didn't play to the system. We talked to the people. Mm. People made the decision. I don't care how many PR people you got. What big radio conglomerate is behind you? We do this autonomously. Woo! We come straight to you. I've been listening, man. Sometimes you need reconfirmation. Back up on the camera, man. You're making me nervous. No, really, back up on the camera. <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> Sometimes you need that reconfirmation about what you're thinking. Absolutely. You know, growing up in Oakland, I came up rather radical, so I had to kind of taper it down as I dove deeper and deeper into the industry and mm -hmm. kind of camouflage what my true agenda was. Mook could tell you, Mook was there the first day we broadcasted the Wake Up Show 1990, right, right Mook? That's right. That's right. You're right. And as you go through your ups and downs, valleys and peaks, and then you try, try to maintain your relevance so that people, when you talk, will actually pay attention to maybe if you say 10 things, they'll hear one thing, and maybe that'll be something they could utilize in their decision-making process of mm. making better choices, right? Mm. That's how I came up thinking this game was. We came up, we brought the next dude. We got the door open, man. Come on, man, stop the dumb shit. Yeah. Come get with the real shit. You know, and so as I watch people develop that happen to be artists, it's great when I see some of my friends, people I consider friends, don't even know that I follow them so strongly, uh, start making mounds of uh, progress in evolution as as an individual, mm -hmm. when you see them go through trials and tribulations, and then the vernacular start changing and start growing, and people get that wake up moment, <laughs> you know, and start talking to the people, they become damn near a martyr. They on the front lines. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. War, baby. And then they actually know <laughs> what they're talking about because they've been through it. That's exactly what I've been witnessing from my brother sitting down right now, who's with us, ladies and gentlemen. Us or else. It's a letter to the system was a project that came out months ago. And I've been listening to it and watching the game and seeing how they respond to it and what they respond to. And right here, you have one of the biggest voices in hip hop that's trying to give you some insight and some game on the system through what he's been through. He ain't perfect. I've been with him. You know, I've seen him. We sat down and talked about things he's done personally, professionally, and all that, but this message in this project, I've really been enjoying, and he's here to talk about it with us today. He's also hosting the, the Global Spin Awards now. I don't know how many checks he keeps, but he keeps getting checks. <laughs> he's in a partnership with Tidal, with Rock Nation, him and Jay-Z. They hobnob on the norm, Heather. I can't get Jay-Z to hit me back. In the hook, <laughs> we can't even argue with that. <laughs> Give it up for the one and only <laughs> T.I., ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 He's here. Hey, man. He's here. Hey, Sway. Y'all keep applauding. He's yeah. here, man. <laughs> He's here. He's here. Hey, hey, hey Sway, real talk. Can, can you do all of my introductions <laughs> like from now on out? Like, like real talk, I really do. I won't do. I, nobody introduced me nowhere on nobody's stage if Sway ain't doing it. I'm I not got coming you. out. Okay. Oh, uh, but we, you know, I, I really, you know, I, I, I will say, man, I, I you know, I, I watch you because um, I got, I felt like I got, a, we made a connection back in the day. At the, you know, when we were sure doing the thing with MTV and even prior to that I always liked your music because I always thought man you know let's be honest a, a lot of when dudes were coming from the south and they were extremely lyrical I was like oh that's interesting damn yeah. that's different a different style of uh, mm -hmm. rapping and you've always been a really lyrical guy which I've always appreciated right you on. know and um, I watch your, your personal life be displayed and sure for, <laughs> for the world to see sure you know and, um, and I watch your professional life grow and, and so I admire you, man, because it ain't easy. Right. And then you did this project. Why was it so important for you? We haven't talked about it. But why was it important to do this? People ain't listening to that right now. Well, I mean, well, for me personally, just as an individual, it was it was important to just get it off my chest. You know what I mean? Because, mm -hmm. you know, these are my thoughts and, and 
my feelings, you know, just honestly and truthfully uh, with all the things that are going on that I'm witnessing and experiencing and uh, in 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 the communities, and, you know what I mean? Like, I, I couldn't look my children in the eyes if I didn't, you know what I'm saying, make an attempt uh-huh. to to do something, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's march, whether it's speak, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, organize or, you know, whatever it is, I just, you know, I just, I just had to get it off my chest. So uh-huh. there we have it. How did people respond? How have people been responding uh, to this? But this, this is a concept project. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like us or else, letter to the system. It's more of a message than anything else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and even though, you know, I never really, you know, I didn't put it out. I, I don't expect any commercial, uh-huh. you know, like success or accolades from this because it's not that kind of music. It's not conventional secular music uh-huh. if you will uh but you know what i'm saying like you got two groups of people you got those that uh, that that are really proud and and that that receive it very well and very you know just intrigued by you know the 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 perspective of it and and you know just as you said before just you know what i'm saying just like the direction that the music is going in and won't you know that part of their life to have a soundtrack just as well as they want the rest of the parts of their life to have right. a soundtrack. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, and then on the flip side, man, you know, you got motherfuckers they just don't care. You know what uh-huh. I mean? It's just, it's just honestly speaking, they just really could care less. You know what I mean? Uh, and you know what I'm saying? You know, we, both walks of life. You know what I'm saying? I, I man, I, I frequent. You know what I'm saying? And, and get along, and, and we speak, and 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 politic on both ends of the spectrum but you know I'm just surprised that, you know what I'm saying how many people can see what's going on around us and just not as I guess don't have as much urgency mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. what I mean and, and, and ain't as dialed in to it and ain't motivated to do shit you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying like I you know that, that I'm I'm flabbergasted by that if you had a chance to meet with um, Donald Trump like, um, cause you did an open letter to Black America, to President Obama and Donald Trump, mm-hmm. like a lot of the other uh, um, public figures that even come from like Kanye or Steve Harvey or these guys. Sure. What would you have discussed with them? Well, first and foremost, man, you know, I w- I would have wanted to be accompanied by you know more formal representation, mm-hmm. mm, like, like, that. like Congressman Lewis, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, or, or Ambassador Andrew Young, or, you know what I'm saying, somebody mm-hmm. who, who know that shit a little bit better than me. Yeah, you know absolutely. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's real. You know what I'm saying, and, and and next, my like, you know, the first chance I got to speak, like the first thing, like off top is, so what's up with the bullshit you were saying, like, you know, all the disrespectful stuff, you know what I mean? Like, what's with that? You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Like, because first and foremost, before any, before two people could come together and have a meeting of the minds and move forward peacefully and progressively, it, it has to be a mutual respect. Uh-huh. I can't come sit down at the table with you when you don't respect me and mine. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I just can't. I mean, what what would I expect to take away from that? Uh-huh. So I have to show that I respect you. You have to show that you respect me. And, you know, and after that, then we can go and talk about the future. But we got to, we got to deal with that first. got to deal with that. Yeah. In your letter to um, Black America, you wrote these letters, and they're really very um, interesting letters. I got a chance to uh, read them all. Uh, I'm going to jump. You know, as I write this letter, I can't help but express my frustration and concern for us. I also can't help but question my contribution to the status of where we are. Um, I understand that I, too, have been guilty of doing the very things that put us here. Is that a, uh, an, is that, that's not necessarily an apology, but that's just you accepting accountability for. Sure. So as an artist, you were saying, uh, or as a person? I mean, both. Okay. Artist, explain it. Can you explain citizen, it? criminal, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I've, you know, I've engaged in shit that, you know, that, that. Is the very thing that we need that I that, that I'm saying that you know probably need to discontinue. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, shit. I mean, I I kind of introduced the soundtrack to the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I took 
the actions and made a genre of music behind it. Uh-huh. You know, uh, but you mean like trap music? Yeah, <laughs> <and that's, laughs> mm, this is real. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, ultimately, I did that. You know, trap music is a reflection of my childhood. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? It's the shit that I I sold drugs from. 13 to like 20, 20, 21, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, and like that, those were the the least conscious years of my life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's when I like had the least understanding of what the fuck was going on. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and moving forward, you know, it was kind of like therapy after... I left out of the lifestyle trap music for me to record these songs and to do these records. It was kind of like therapy, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like if if an alcoholic, you know what I'm saying? He he, he go to meetings every week. Uh-huh. He know he don't drink anymore, but he still go to meetings every week and talk about when he used to get drunk. And he can still remember the taste. He can remember the feel. And even though he don't get drunk no more, uh-huh. his testimony is still valid. And him going to his going to his meetings and speaking keeps him you know gives him a a, a certain level of solidarity uh-huh. you know what i mean uh-huh. so that's the way it was for me up until a certain point but now it kind of like man god damn this shit getting out of hand it's getting out of hand <laughs> you, you put you put our obsession with material things and lack of self-worth is evident in our need for an abundance of monetary luxuries and must have amenities that have no true value for real man and I mean, we do it just to impress people that could care less if your children or your children's children have anything left to show for your life after you're gone. Mm. Yeah. You just broke down the whole <laughs> the, the, the whole black community. Well, not the entire black nah, community, but but, but 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 um major part. The majority. The majority of yeah. us uh, growing up as youth. Sure. We're latched on to material, and that sure. equates to self value, which really equates to no value sure but 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 it's this is not accident like this is by design yeah you know what i'm saying talk about that yeah this is by design like you know we've been um controlled with monetary amenities like luxuries and and shit like from the beginning you know what i'm saying like that's that's the way like they said, when they pulled up in Africa, you know what I'm saying, they had fancy clothes and and, and and guns, you know what I'm saying, and that's what impressed people, and that's how, you know, they got to getting slaves and shit, you know what I'm saying, trading guns and fancy clothes, and mm. that been from the beginning, come with the the technology, or come with the shit that make them, the, the distractions, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying, uh-huh. to take you away from what the fuck really going on, and when you have um, a shortage of opportunities when you have uh, disproportionate educational systems um, and then you got everybody striving to look like they're living a certain way when they're really not they're not striving to live a certain way yeah. they're striving to look like they're hmm. living a certain Deceptive way poor. Deceptively poor. <laughs> You're deceptively poor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mean with the with the IG shit, like, you know, all the holding of the money up to the ear and all that old shit. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, I mean, you know, it's all right to have fun, man. You know what I mean? I done did the shit too. Yeah, I saw you a few times post yeah, the money. I too. done did the shit too. Man. It's all right. I was counting the money. I'm about to I got you, but look, no, the thing is. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, man, like, you know, you have fun when when there are times, you know, to have fun in. Like, right now, man, this shit is fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. this shit fucked up. Like, I'm talking like, they trying to take this shit back to segregation days. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, for, 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 for us to not key into that, pay some attention to it, you know, not to say... We shouldn't be having fun and we shouldn't be spending money and yeah, we shouldn't yeah. be living our lives, but we should be focusing on something that's just a little bit more important. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Just, do just as much of investing and, and and creating a portfolio 
for 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 your future and for your lineage. Mm-hmm. Do just as much as that as you do of the balling. You know what I mean? Okay. If you're going to hold 50,000 up, man, then let me see got at least take 20 uh, 25 of that and go and goddamn buy <laughs> a building or put down on a piece of property uh-huh. that can Generate revenue, and not only that, you'll have some, and your children will have some, and the community will have some. That's the one main thing about us. Like every other minority has a community. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, when you whether we talking about Mexicans, whether we talking about uh, Asians, whether we talking Korean, about Korean, Gre- yeah, 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 every every other minority has a community, meaning they have their own banks, Uh they have their own schools, they have their own grocery stores, they have the, like... They police their own community at the time. Sure. But what I'm saying, well, we kind of police our own community. (laughs) (laughs) We don't necessarily call it police. We uh, we govern ourselves, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, 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 But the thing is, when they get paid their check from their job, they spend their money in their community. They don't go outside their community and go and buy a television uh-huh. from somewhere else outside of their community. They're going to go to the person within their community that sells televisions uh-huh. and they're going to spend their money there, which keeps the dollar in the community, you know, it it, it, it keeps it turning over, which builds the wealth uh-huh. within the community. Uh-huh. And as you build the wealth within the community, then the minority becomes m- more affluent. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? That particular group of minorities become more affluent. And that's how you earn respect uh-huh. in the government. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. The government have no reason to respect you if your communities aren't affluent. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. They feel like you are a... Uh, an expense to the government. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You 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 a liability mm-hmm. rather than an asset. You know what I'm saying? If your community is strong and affluent, you then become a commodity. Mm-hmm. And that's how it happens. And we ain't doing that. We go get our check, man. We going straight up to Fifth Avenue. Mm-hmm. Goddamn. Mm-hmm. We going to <laughs> Neiman Marcus. Mm-hmm. We going to Louboutin. Louis. We going to, you know what I'm saying? Louis Gucci. We going straight there and I mean, like, we got to keep some money in our own community. You mentioned um, the power of our buying power as a community, how much right. money we spend in the economy. Billions. Um, billions and billions. Billions. T.I. is here, man. Um, let's play, um, I believe. <clears throat> and then we're going to open up the phone lines, um, 888-742-3345. And we'll talk about other stuff, but this, sure. this got me. Yeah. I believe that what I believe. Yeah. I believe we are not saved. I believe we are not saved. That what I believe we are Sway not the morning, say four believe, five. Us or saved. else. Letter to the system. Us or else what, T.I.? Or else what? Well, or else we're going to have to come up with some with some useful contingencies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I ain't going to do too much talking. Okay. On, you know what I'm on saying? the ORL. Yeah, I ain't gonna do too put much talking. You know, that could be misconstrued with a threat. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Good point. And, and <laughs> this day and age, Axel, they'll come knocking at your door. I ain't gonna mm. do too much talking, man. But you know, I remember. Sad. That way. Yeah, that way. Over there. Over there. I remember um, towards the end of last year. Uh huh. Lil Wayne had offended a lot of people mm-hmm. when it seemed like he went on television and dismissed Black Lives Matter. Right. And you were one of those folks that was offended. Um, and I agreed with everything that you had put up on Instagram. And I sure. saw some other people wondered why use the platform of Instagram. So I want to ask you that and also the importance of holding your fellow artists accountable. Well, first of all, I'm going to say that um, that was the most difficult thing that I had, you know what I'm saying, that I that I've had to do could that's you know what I'm saying, that that's still, you know, I still consider that one of my problems, like, you know, from as long as I've been, you know, doing this shit professionally. And, you know, I got a lot of love and respect for him. Um 
it was a knee jerk reaction, you know, because I was confronted by my my kids asking me about it. You know what I'm saying? And that, sh- and I was like, you know, I was always, I'm, and still to this day, I'm, I, I'm gonna be the one that, like, I think I did. Uh, was it? Not Tavis Smiley, the guy Roland Martin. Roland I Martin, believe. yeah, Roland yeah. Martin, friend of the show. BT. Yeah, yeah. So I was on his show. TV One, is it? Oh, yeah, TV, I think TV, it's TV, TV One. one. Yeah. I was on his show like a week or two prior to that, when I believe on ESPN, my brother had said that there is no racism or something like that. So I was asked about it then. I was like, man, look, man, he wasn't prepared for that question, man. You know what I'm saying? My guy just need to. You know, gather his facts, clarify himself, and then he'll, you know, he'll make a a, a, a retraction or he'll state what he feel. And then two weeks after that, after I hit just, you know what I'm saying, then that came out. So I was just kind of, yeah, I, you know. Uh, now, one thing I will not have or one, one thing I will not do, I ain't going to let nobody sit around and bash bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I feel like I have that relationship with him where I can say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to sit around and listen to nobody else say it. You know what I mean? Um, and however he feel about me saying it, me and him can, you know what I'm saying? We can deal with that when we see each other, when we speak, however, however that go. Uh, but I'm not going to sit around and just listen to nobody else bash him or, or drag his name through the mud. He's still a legend. He's still, in my eyes, you know what I'm saying, one of the greatest to, to ever do what we do. Um, and in a way, I kind of did it so other people wouldn't be able to do it. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? Like I kind of jumped out there and I said it. And I, I feel like everything I said was, you know, what I'm saying I said out of love uh-huh. instead of you know, a motherfucker just taking an opportunity to you know take a shot. Right. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I use Instagram as a forum because it was such a public matter. It was mm. such a public matter that, you know, it it just kinda it just kinda I felt like in order for it to actually because it wasn't really me speaking to him as much as it is speaking to the people, the kids that I know that's following him. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The correction needs to be you need to correct the kids, you know what I'm saying? Like bro, you know what I'm saying, bro. Shit, he a grown rich ass man. You know what I'm saying. He gonna do what he do and feel how he feel. It ain't really about correcting him. You know what I'm saying. You speaking to him, but you really trying to get the message across to the kids that follow him. That makes sense. Well, Ti is here. Um, Mike Muse is our member of the show. I don't even want to put a title <laughs> on him. Man. Member, man. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> Uh, T.I. won for his great conversation. I love that you brought to light the issue of economic development um, in terms of, you know, we spend our own community, then we become more of a commodity, right? Right. I think that's Flint crisis right right in of itself. The question I have for you, though, is do we as black community, in particular black Twitter, put too much responsibilities on ourselves for finding the right solution? And the reason why I ask that is because I want to almost push back on something you said earlier um you mentioned that you know if you were to go to meet with trump you would bring you know congressman john lewis and ambassador young which is fantastic because you said you feel like you may not know all the right solutions sometimes i feel in our community we feel like we don't have the right solutions but you outlined it perfectly in a letter to trump you talked about why you feel like it's us versus you because you don't understand our culture sure. right and so you actually going in and relearning who we are then that's changing mentality. So that is a solution. So I was wondering, do we put too much pressure on the solution? Well, I mean, I think that's incredibly ambitious to go and expect for him to learn or care about. You can't force somebody to care about something. Uh You know what I'm saying? You can force them to do something, but you can't force them to care. You know what I'm saying? Uh, And I just, you know, I would never want to go in there and ask somebody to do something that they ain't passionate about doing. You know what I'm saying? That just seems so in, in, insincere and contrived. I, you know what I mean? Like, for real, ultimately, man, all I need is your respect. That's it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't understand, then you come to us. You you, you reach out to, you know, your alliances in this particular area of life and, and, and have it explained to you. If you don't understand, you know, why 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 there's so much violence in Chicago? Okay, well let's let's talk to, you know, people on the grounds who organize in the community in Chicago and let's figure out like 
what what the the what, what what the most of the detriment is, you know what I'm saying? And, and and let's attack that. I don't think just going in, sending the national guard and lock people up and I, right, you know, that'll get that'll get some done. But for real, that that doesn't that doesn't heal the community. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? It really doesn't. Ti is here. Ira's on the line from Dallas. What up, Ira? Yo yo. What up, Sway? What's Heather, poppin'? Tracy. Good Chilling. morning. Listen, T.I., man. What's that? Good morning, Heather. Yo, I just want to appreciate you. Tell you, thank you, man, for that album, man. It hit the spot amongst all of this other music that's going on. I know it's a turn-up era, but I appreciate it, bro, and I just wanted to call and say thank you, man. Right on, man. That's what's up. Make sure you got the oh, you I got appreciate it. I appreciate it, bro. You should, I appreciate you for listening. All right. Janice from Cali. What up? Yo. Janice. Is it Janice. Janice. Oh, my yes. bad. My okay, bad. okay. We can hear you. <laughs> Hi. Can hear oh, my you. goodness. I can't believe I got through. I've been on hold forever. But I just wanted to call in and say I'm such a big fan of you all. Heather B, I've been rocking with you since the real world. Sway, MTV, T.I., since What's the King. Oh, my God. That's my favorite album. Thank you. I just wanted to call in and tell you I'm so thankful of your growth because I'm growing with you. Thank you. I was with you with the trap music. Now I'm educated. I'm a nurse now. And now I'm with you with this movement. So I appreciate you guys. And I'm so happy I got through. I'm such a big fan of yours. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. We, I mean, I appreciate your support, and I'm, I sure, I, I'm sure I echo the rest of the members of the yeah, show. Absolutely. Ti can speak on, on our behalf. Yeah. Ti yeah. speaking on our behalf. I think I right. speak on the rest. Of, hey, speak hey, on behalf of the rest of the members. Give, give her say. a citizenship. Tell her she's a citizen. Go ahead. Yeah, you are now. We, we welcome you to our community. You are now citizen of the Sway in the Morning Show. There it is, Janice. You, know, you made it, man. Yeah, from there, we are, man. there we are. There you go, man. With the powers vested in me. <laughs> <laughs> we got Ch- <laughs> Chastity from Tennessee. Go ahead, Chastity. Chastity. Hey, y'all. I just want to say, I listen to y'all every day. Sway, how to be. I'm a motivation, so I go to work. You know what I'm saying? And see how I feel. You so real, you know. Just everything, your character, how you care about the community, the issues that's going on. I listen to your music. I love you. Thank you. It's everything. Everything. And shout out to um, both AK. He doing things out here. Man, they sleeping on him. Gotta said, wake who? up. I'm sorry. Who you say? Who you say? Boca, A.K. Boca, A.K. B-O-C-K-A-L, A.K. Uh, okay, okay, great. Uh, yeah, you know, I really, I wish I understood what yeah. she was saying. Well, she's already But she up. gave the shout out, though. She uh, got, she gave the shout out. Somebody turned up happy as a motherfucker yeah, right man. now. <laughs> up. I thought she said shout Mama, out to the Mama, I made AK. it. Did you hear it? He shouted me out on the Swiggity Show. Um, <laughs> who we got on the line right now? Hello? Yeah, this is uh, James. Lopez. James, James Lopez. James Lopez. Is this the James Lopez? <laughs> yes, it is, sir. How oh, you doing? Oh man, hey. what the hell going on, bro? <laughs> I just I just I just wanted to call in and personally tell you how proud I am of your evolution. Mm. And you know, you and I go way back. Yeah, man. If anybody don't had know a lot of we've had a lot of discussions in private about maturity and what we need to do in this game. Right. And I'm glad that you're doing it. And it's important right now. We got to wake these kids up. Right on, bro. And for, and for those Dangerous you, times right now. For those of you who don't know who James Lopez is, all of my albums from trap music up to Paper, Paper Trail, Trail, he was responsible for the marketing and all of like, the... The Chevy deals and all of the, the Reebok shit, like mm-hmm. all of the shit that I had going on at that time, James was that 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 was James' job. He since has gone on to become a big movie producer. Yeah, he's a movie you producer. You know what I'm saying? He's a big uh, time the, movie producer. You know what I'm saying? By, by the way, he put me in a movie too. Yeah. Come, yeah, so just I got to throw it out there, man. Uh, yeah, man. We got battle of the year, man. Remember that, Jay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Hey, man, that's what's up, man. Hey, look, it, it, it means a lot coming from you. And, you know, you, 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 we've been friends for a dec- for over a decade, man. And you know what I'm saying? I, I wish you all the best in your, in your career as well. I'm doing the best I can with it. All right. Hey, hey, tell the kids I said hi, Jay. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Hey what, hey, what college your daughter end up going to? Uh, she's at UCSB. She's a freshman. Okay. Well, tell I said keep up, yeah. keep up the good work, man. No, his daughter and my daughter were friends, too. Word. Right. They used to live in the same... Uh, uh, gated community. Uh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sorry, Jay. <laughs> right I, I didn't live in that community. That's where they lived. You know what I said? <laughs> <laughs> See, I said keep it in the community. You keep it in the yeah, community. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, you know, it takes, at least we got enough of y'all there to have a community. Oh, you know right, what I'm but, saying? But listen, it was a gated community. It ain't what, you know, it wasn't like what you're thinking. You what know? you mean? It was, it was a nice community, but it wasn't. But You said gated. It's, yeah, it's gated. There's only two kinds of gated, I know, man. You know what I'm saying? You got subdivision and projects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jay, thanks for calling in, man. All right, hey, don't get it, twi- don't get it twisted, man. I, I know with Ti, man, this was a project, uh, and this was a message, you know, that he got off his chest. But you, you still turning up, you know. It's it's not yeah. a party, you know. Oh, the music, I mean, and the music. by no, yeah, by no means. Don't please, don't, 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 don't get it like mistaken. I. I got another like another album coming in yeah. a couple months. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm and you, you, I got some more music coming. I just wanted to get my message out. Yeah, um, uh, Jay Z, um, who's somebody I, I honestly I crack jokes about him, but I like I, I've admired him from afar since the yeah. early days and watched his development and growth. And I think he's his his journey is really important to all of our journeys. Right on. Community, industry, inside out. And you guys formulated a partnership. Yeah. A while back. Uh, I'm curious if whatever you can tell me is what kind of conversations are y'all having about what's going on in the community, supporting the arts, Diddy, guys like you, guys like him. I see y'all reaching out and giving other guys opportunities and, and spreading the wealth. Well, back in the day, if you had it, you kind of kept it. Yeah. You sure. know, and it was always competitiveness. Sure. Are y'all talking, how has the conversation grown over the years? Well, I mean... Well, Jay don't talk much. Still? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, initially, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, it's, you know, you can literally have a two-year conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time you see him, so, you know, y'all have a couple words, and then y'all leave, and then, you know, two more months, you'll come back. So, we're picking up right where we left off, you know what I'm saying? Which, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you can literally have, like, a two-year conversation with him. Uh, but, I mean, I, I, I he's passionate about, making sure that the power and the equity of the art is placed back in the hands of the artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, one thing we speak on that I can share is is just how before the way the music business was was set up, you know, it kind of got... It got out of their hands. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It was too many young black drug dealers coming from nothing and making multi millionaires of themselves. And to the point where like, you know, if you if you are a <clears throat> if you're an artist, you know, and you get signed to a record deal and you sell, you know, three, four million records, you know what I'm saying, and you still just sign to that record label mm-hmm. and you you know, sign your publishing to a publishing company. Okay, they fine with that. But when you come in on some masterpiece shit and you like, nah, man, I want uh, I want a P and D. I want all my masters. I want eighty five eighty five fifteen split. And I don't really need your money. I just need to partake in use of your infrastructure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See now that when 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 niggas start getting hip to that play. Okay, now we need to restructure this shit. This shit getting out of hand. Okay, let's. So now let's make it to where the music is free. Yeah. Mm. Let's make it to where the music is free. And we're going to make them pay for the technology. Uh, mm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it went from us working on our art and selling our art and being paid for our art as artists to now we work and give away our art. And then the person who developed this the technology yeah. is the one that gets paid. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. See, that was, you know, that 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 was strategic. That shit happened like for a reason. It wasn't mm. by accident. Hell no. That shit happened like strategically. You know what I mean? And and we, we and now we must find a way to, you know, we we gotta we gotta shift it back. Mm-hmm. And, and and put the power of the art back into the hands of the artists. Mm-hmm. T.I., man. Wow. T.I. Mm. The, the, real real brief. We the, When I went to San Quentin, it was for this program called The Last Mile. And they're teaching inmates how to code and program. 
Oh shit! So that that's what's cre- up. They're that creating their own. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they're creating yeah. their own apps, okay. websites without the use of the internet. And so maybe we gotta control the technology ourselves. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's one thing that, mm. you know, that's one thing that you know we can um. We got to get more involved in yeah. in 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 the technology aspect of it. You know, that's. But that's I think that's that's long term. That's long term. Yeah. Cuz 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 that take long though. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That's a that's a the reason we not in it is because it take like millions and millions and millions of dollars to make. I done spent I didn't <laughs> I didn't I didn't spent like two well I say 1.3 on a failure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm talking, I had a failing Hmm. project that I end up dumping a million plus into and shit you know the things that actually go you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. the let's say before let's say Snapchat like yeah. that like that was like five ten million dollars put into that shit before mm-hmm. any of us even really heard mm-hmm. of it right mm-hmm. by the mm-hmm. time it got hot they probably had a cool 75 80 million invested yeah you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and we ain't got that. We ain't playing with that kind of money like that for real. Not all of us, you know. If I got, I ain't gonna invest it in one particular thing. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, what I remember saying? that big deal you got a while back. That well, was, you, you know, know that, that's not that talking. We want to talk about that. <laughs> that. <laughs> not, talk about that. So <laughs> eighty hundred something. Hey, look, hey, look. I remember. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, Why you don't want to talk about that? I don't want to talk about that. Okay, all right, my bad, man. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. If people think I got money, they don't want to give me none. You That's know a good saying? point. Good point. Uh, so I mean, <laughs> Jay with his acquisition of title, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like him, him, him being able to, you know, uh, actually being willing to put up fifty five, sixty five, however many million he put up for it, and coming back and and. And saying, okay, listen, we going we gonna divide the equity up uh-huh. proportionately among artists, respective artists in different genres uh-huh. that could bring their influence to this particular platform. Uh-huh. And then we gonna build it, grow it, sell it, and when we sell it, we all eat. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like we need, like we need, we need more of that. You did that. That's was it Sprint? Put in two hundred million to um, accumulate it a third of it. Uh, was definitely sprint, yeah. which, which raised the evaluation up to six hundred million. million. Yeah. And, and you, as a partner, <laughs> mm-hmm. your eva- your equity is worth more. Yes, and that's the model. Yes, that's why I say leave Jay Z alone. No, why you say that? No, I mean people who try to pull him back. Oh, oh yeah, you yeah, critique yeah, him and all that. No, 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 no. Bad the fuck up off the homie. Yeah, let him do. Let him fly. Let him fly. See where he goes. See yeah. where he takes us. For real. Uh, Ti, thank you, man. You're hosting the Global Spin Awards. Right on. Okay, and that's taking place in New Orleans, isn't it? Yep, yeah, in New Orleans. Around. See how good of a host I am. I even know where it's gonna be. DJ Wonder is nominated for one of the awards. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Wonder, he looks excited about it. Aren't yes. you excited about oh, yeah, it? I'm, he looks I'm confident. Excited. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> he's already like won it. in the bag. Yeah, like. right. He's already won it. I just got to ask one real quick thing because they just confirmed Ant-Man 2. The sequel is supposed to be coming uh, next year. Are mm-hmm. you going to be in it? He looks confident. <laughs> That, that. Does Marvel listen to this show? You know. Because, oh, you, you can't know. say nothing. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, because okay, you know, I can I can speak on his behalf. <laughs> Being a member of the Marvel universe, right? If you saw Luke Cage, you know, you know. All uh, right now. You saw that right? Yeah. Now, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, all right, all right. Us, you know. So, uh, on behalf of Ti, yeah. he can really not comment. He has no comment on that Ant Man two. Yeah. Um, sequel. Okay. Right now, but nothing should be ruled out. There you go. I can live with that answer. As there long as go. it, okay? Can Nothing should be ruled out. Deny. I, 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 I got to ask. You know? <laughs> Give it up for T.I., ladies right and gentlemen. On, All you, right. Man. Also, we want to thank uh, the Social Misfit Club for coming by. Yeah. And Jay Period for coming by as well. Tomorrow we're broadcasting in Houston. Woo! Houston, we are headed to the flight right now. We're going to be landing in the, uh, tonight, broadcasting at 7 a.m., we're going to be at Prospect Park in the Galleria area. Yeah, 3100 Fountain View. Buffets, drinks, mm-hmm. 
Okay. I'm having a drink. Me so, too. You coming to Super Bowl, Ti? Yeah. yeah. One day you arriving. One day. My, my Falcons in there, man. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. my Falcons oh, in there, man. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Yeah. yeah. Going on down there, man. Coming back with the Lombardi. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Man. Hey, I like yeah. to see that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna root for the Falcons. Being a Raiders fan. Okay. There's no yeah. way I could root for the Patriots. Absolutely. Nah. But I tell you that Tom Brady, man, he's pissed. Hey. He got they, enough, though. they suspended him four games. He's mad at the game right now. I'm telling you. Yeah. But we'll see what it goes. <laughs> All right, Tracy, how can I reach you? Twitter, Instagram, find me there at it's Tracy G I T S T R A C Y G and visit my site, she's beauty and the beast.com. It's really DB everywhere. At I am Mike News across the board. I'm at the happy hour with WHB. T.I., how can I hit you, man? Uh at Twitter is uh T I P and um Instagram is Troubleman31. All right, I'm at Real Sway across the board. Tell your beautiful kids, Uncle Sway said, what's up, man? Yeah, dude, bro. Okay, all they right. better be their ass in school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and until tomorrow, we'll be broadcasting live from Houston, man. Make sure y'all tune in. And until tomorrow, we have nothing left to say. It's Sway in the morning. Only from Shea 45.